<laughs> We're trusting mama with raw shrimp. Let me go double check my health insurance. This is Cooking Mama's recipe for vegetable tempura, but also shrimp tempura. I don't have a seafood allergy, but at this point, I wish I did. So I'm gonna play the gameplay on my iPad and we're gonna follow it. Clean the shrimp, okay. Not me holding the shrimpy boy. Oh. What? Oh, oh my god, no, there's blood on the wall. <laughs> this one is even more shrimpier. Oh. <gasps> what is this? This is blood. This can't be blood, right? Is it poop? So when Mama did in the gameplay, she was like up and down and then. You know what? I'm not experienced with seafood. I'll tell you that much. But is that blood or is it poop or is it both? Oh. No, there's snot as well. I'm like, shrimpy boys, is there a body fluid? You guys are not coming through it today? If I had to prepare shrimp, I would be vegan. I can't do this. I'm sensing the shrimp is not okay. Oh my god, is that blood on my fingers? Like, guys, I'm not being joking. Like, I can't do this. I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> shrimpy panic attack. Seafood panic. I'm not gonna out for this, mama. I'm sorry. You're not my real mama. Okay, so next up, we're going to prepare the vegetables for the tempura because this is a shrimp and also a vegetable tempura. So this is a lotus root and that's an eggplant. So the step is called cut the ingredients. There's a shrimp whisker on the floor. I hate life at the moment, okay? Oh my God, this is not great. Why is it so sticky? Oh, oh I don't have a bowl. Just, just get out of here. Next. Okay, cut this. Uh, cut this. Uh, uh. Wait, what? Oh, I'm delayed. They did some weird cuts. On it. Like... It's really difficult to follow the actual time of the gameplay because it just, it takes longer in real life. I don't know what happened. This kind of worked. So they kind of did like this thing where they, they fan out the aubergine eggplant, but I can't fan it out. Maybe it needed to be longer. Okay, this kind of works better. Okay, I think that's what they were looking for. That actually looks really cool. By the way, I'm gonna eat this whole thing deep fried. With timing, we kind of did it almost perfectly. In the actual game time, it's really difficult. These are also supposed to be smaller. Like this is the only tempura where you'll break a tooth. So I have to cut these a little bit smaller as well. This is very sticky and hard to cut. I've never used this before. There is a first time for everything. Thank you, mama, for bringing new experiences into my life. We're never gonna talk about the shrimpy boys. That is a moment that is banned from the comment section on my YouTube channel. There was murder on this, on these hands. If the police comes through, I'm gonna turn myself in. Okay, so these are a lot smaller. I actually think these will be perfect for tempura. That looks perfect. And then this, I'm just gonna deep fry it the way mama tells me, because at this point... So now I got the scales. Are you kidding me? So this is gonna be all the ingredients for the tempura batter. Now the interesting thing is Cooking Mama actually gives you the exact measurements, which I think is really interesting because that never happened before. It's gonna be very stressful to measure this in grams in real time. How am I gonna do this? I don't know, we're doing it. You're about to see, but in the gameplay, it actually starts with two egg yolks. So we're just gonna add all this stuff to it. And honestly, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna be as fast as I've ever been. This has to be like my best work yet. Okay, the egg yolk. We got it. And then I know it starts with salt, 15 grams. Okay, that's 15 grams, kind of. It was a little bit more. I have, to, I have to zero the scales. And then water, 100 grams of water. Oh, that's good enough. Zero. Oh my god, no. <laughs> zero. And then wheat flour, 100 grams. Oh my god, I barely have enough. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, potato flour, 50 grams. Do you know what? This is good enough. 51, that was pretty good. 
I'm being quicker than the game? What? There's baking powder? 10 grams. It's a whole lot of baking powder. Okay. Wow, that was perfect. And then the last one is pepper. 8 grams. 8 grams? A whole lot of pepper. Oh. That happened almost in real time. Like, we followed it exactly the same time as the game. And minus this, but I feel like we deserve the three stars. Thank you, Mama. I really appreciate it. I really feel like I deserve it. Okay, we made a little bit of a mess. Let's ignore that. But this is our batter. We actually made the batter from the game. <laughs> the interesting thing is sometimes we kind of guessed ingredients. This time around, like, this is legit. So whatever this is gonna taste like, this is actually a recipe from mama. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna press play, but this part is uh, essentially just mixing it. Let's press play. So it's called mix it. Okay. And oh, I might have to hold this. Why is it, why is it going so fast all of a sudden? Mine is not look, oh my God. It's gonna be flying on my bowl. It is flying off the mama's bowl. Oh. Wait, this is not giving... Why is mine dry? Why is it so dry? <laughs> I follow the recipe! Mama, why is this giving dumplings? Um... We got a problem, Mama. This is... It's not giving what it's supposed to be giving. It's taking. It's taking from my grocery ingredients that could become something else. Um... Mama, I believe we just made potato dumplings. I don't want to alarm anybody, but how am I gonna tempura anything in this? Um, I am confused because I did follow this. Honestly, I thought this one, there was no way it could go wrong, but it did. So now I need to make a batter out of this. It's kind of giving batter now. Why is the egg not fully mixed though? This is very interesting. Chopsticks is probably not the best tool for this either. Also, this is a whole lot of pepper. Do you see? It's gonna be peppery. Still no batter, mama. <laughs> so, you know what? Imagine if this tastes incredible. No, there's no way. This feels a little bit thick, so I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna just do the gameplay and see what happens. So I've got all the ingredients here that we need and we're gonna, I have to be quick. Okay, so this is called batter it. Oh, we're supposed to... <gasps> oh, no. Wait. Let's try again. Oh, wait, I did it. Kind of. Oh, that's no better. A second shrimp? A shiso leaf. A leaf? What? <sighs> Who was the other one? Uh, the eggplant and the thing. Ah. <sighs> Guys, I don't want to be dramatic. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> I'm not sure about this batter. Let me make sure. Let me try to coat it now that we kind of failed already. At least that. I don't deserve the three stars. I deserve no stars. Also, can we talk about the fact that we coated a leaf? A leaf? Why we gotta terrorize nature now too? Could we just not leave nature alone? Let me coat the shrimp a little bit better. I do want this to work out, so... I'm gonna try to coat them well and just put it on here. Could be that it works, you know? Oh, and by the way, let's talk about the whole eggplant in here. Like, what is this? Also, can we talk about how this is never gonna stick to this? Like, not in a million years this would ever work. Are you familiar with the, the vegetable eggplant? Okay, so this is our um, tempura spread. This is what we're deep frying. Honestly, it could go either way. Can you not see this actually working out? Cause it's giving tempura out of a sudden. Suddenly I'm gonna finish the rest of the shrimp. I'm like, this shrimpy boys not looking too bad out of a sudden. I know it's weird, but it kind of does look like tempura. I am mildly concerned about this because we're supposed to put everything all at once. I'm gonna do the gameplay. I'm gonna do the best I can. So this is called deep fry it. Okay, we've got all the ingredients here and the deep frying oil, obviously. What are we doing first? The leaf. Oh no. The lotus root. Oh my God, why? <gasps> oh my God, not the leaf. Oh, my leaf is broken. Oh no. That's my leaf. Oh no. The shrimp. 
more shrimp? Guys, I'm so confused. Why are they getting it out already? Why are they getting it out? Mama, this is wrong. <laughs> the most dangerous thing is this, because this is basically just water. So I don't know how this is gonna work out. Oh, I am scared. Okay, I don't even know what Mama is doing at this point. Mama is putting things in, is taking things out. All I know is, there's a lot of cross-contamination here. I need to rethink this whole process. <laughs> oh my god, that is crispy. Wait, it's not the prettiest. This? I don't know what this is. That's a weapon. We're deep frying a weapon. Thank you, Mama. There's a leaf, a deep fried leaf in here. This is probably the most delicious looking one. I don't want to alarm anyone, but why is Mama's tempura kind of giving? Let's do an eggplant reveal. The crevices are crevicing. Me moisturizing my back with CeraVe. I'm gonna do what Mama did, which is start to get things out. I am suspicious that we might have made the best tempura ever. But do you see the texture of it? Why is he giving? Listen to this. We made an eggplant crispy. Do you know how impossible that sounds? Maybe mama's recipe was actually pretty good. I am impressed. Even better than mama. And I mean it. I need to stop making the same joke. <laughs> This, this, this should have died. How long is this video? For 10 minutes, it should have died 11 minutes ago. Okay, let's try to plate this like mama did. So she said eggplant in the corner and the shrimp in the front. I don't know, the shrimp curled up quite a lot more than mama's, but it's fine. The lotus root in the front, which I only have one. Oh wow, that's an, that's an interesting look. <laughs> that definitely looks not like mama's. Let's put one more shrimp. And then the leaf in the back which actually looks kind of similar. So there you go. Um, a plate of, um, and garnish. I don't know what this is. Wait, let me find out. I still don't know what this is. Honestly, I'm looking at both. This looks animated. Like, it looks like from Cooking Mama. It is literally exactly the same. This is so weird. This is freaky. What's freaky is gonna be biting into this. A whole aubergine courgette eggplant. This keeps on changing names in my head. Babe, wake up. I deep fried the whole content of the fridge while you were asleep. Okay, I wanna start with the leaf. I wanna eat a deep fried leaf. Thank you, mama, for bringing a cultural experience into my life. This is a shisu leaf, which I think is also called a sesame leaf. This is delicious. This is so good. Sweet and sticky. This is a deep fried lotus root. Oh, I love them. Crispy but soft. This is actually a poached uh, lotus root on the inside. This is amazing, objectively. And the batter is so flavorful. It's very peppery. I'm not gonna, this is like, this crosses peppery into spicy. The shrimp, shrimpy boys. I shouldn't have thought about that. Anyways, a shrimpy boy. This is incredible. Thank you, mama. You know what? I know I said you were not my real mama, but what really matters is you have loved me since I spent $100 on the extra recipes on the iPhone game, but you loved me nevertheless, so maybe you are my real mom. A deep fried... <laughs> what? Good news is, it's cooked on the inside. I like it. I don't know how I feel about this. This one is weird. I'm not crazy about the texture on the inside. It's very watery and soft, but I love the flavor of the eggplant, so. We've got a bowl, we've got the eggs, and this is a Cooking Mama corn dog. Let's go. So I'm gonna press play on my iPad and I'm gonna watch the gameplay and you know the drill, I'm gonna mimic the movements. Okay, so the first step is to break the eggs. Okay. 
Let me grab an egg already. Is that cheating? I'm grabbing the egg. Okay. Go. Oh, I'm being quicker than the game. This is the first. Wow. I'm practically Gordon Ramsay. That was pretty timely. Oh, you know what? This technique of cracking eggs on the edge, it kind of worked. Three stars. That's for sure. So for this next step, we're gonna need the electric mixer, as you can see, which it is operating. Mark my words, but everything's gonna go flying for this one. This is supposed to switch in between the highest speed, the lowest speed, and the medium speed. So essentially we're gonna be doing... So we're gonna lower this. Oh, why am I already messing up? Okay, low speed, medium speed, fast. Okay, now goes the milk. Oh, no! Corn meal. Okay, they're messing up. Oh my god, this is too fast. Okay, that did happen in real life. <laughs> um, so whatever this is. Oh, I, that was a little bit too quick. Okay, this is the flour. Okay. Salt. And then medium, sugar, okay, and baking powder. <gasps> that was so stressful. And you know what? I'm not joking. This is somehow blended. <laughs> How did that work? <sighs> I'm so confused but it is blended. Let me show you. Somehow it is kind of blended in the dough. You can't see anything, can you? It kind of feels like the right consistency as well. Mama has got her ways. Let me put the tiny leftovers in there. Otherwise I can't live with myself. Not the salt all staying on the plate. I'm covered in batter. It was worth it. I'm assuming the next step is gonna have something to do with the hot dogs, but I wanna show you the batter because am I the Lulu? Or is this batter kind of the perfect corn dog batter? Like, but look at this, it's super like sticky and thick. I feel like the corn dogs will actually stick to this. I did not expect that to actually work out. Let's move on to the next step. These might seem small, but I think they're kind of the same size that Mama uses in the video game. Like, you'll see what I mean. Um, so these are also the cheapest hot dogs they had at Walmart. Why are they square? <laughs> You know what? I'm not gonna ask questions. I don't want the answers to. Not a handful of hot dogs. When they said a pocket full of sunshine, this is not what they meant. So this is the stick that I'm gonna be using. Oh my God, I'm gonna literally make a kebab out of my hand. So this next step is called put them on a skewer. So that's what we're gonna do. Sausage, slow, slow, and... <laughs> Okay, that was pretty good. Next one. Oh my God, I'm so slow at this. Pretty good. Next one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, wait. This was, this one is supposed to be a good one. Oh no. Oh my God, I would be a terrible surgeon. Oh, that kind of worked. And then, how many sausages is mama making? And that's the last one. Oh, the last one was perfect! <sighs> you might have a little surprise when you bite into my corn dogs. Yeah, we might need to call an ambulance for you to truly perceive the surprise. Would you like a side of mustard or a side of root canal? You know what? We got a few good ones and I'm going to just re-adjust it. Look at that. It's quite forgiving actually. You know what? This is gonna be perfect. Me and my blind optimism. Name a more iconic duo. Some of them are actually pretty good. We did a pretty good job considering they were done in 0.5 seconds. Once this is coated, you'll never know that we had some mild trauma to the sausage. This is actually perfect. So for the next step, we're going to, first of all, we're gonna need this batter and I'm gonna pour it in a glass just so that it's easier to dip. That's a pretty damn good consistency. I don't care what anyone has to say. 
Oh, I don't want to go too much. I can see it overflowing and not on my watch. I dry the hot dogs a little bit, but not too much, just so that they stick when we dip them. So I'm gonna press play and let's see what happens. I'm assuming this one is just dipping. Please just be dipping. Mama, we've went through all enough already. Okay, so this is called batter it. Okay, let's go mama. Not me waiting. Not me holding my wiener, waiting for mama. You know what, Never mind. Oh, slow. Oh, I'm going faster than the game. Now I sit here and wait. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I need to move on to the second one. Oh, why does, why does it pull so quick? Mama, you gotta be slower. Oh my God. Oh. What, that's it? Mama, I made like a dozen hot dogs. And also this is, this is not what it's meant to look like. It's not giving what it's meant to be giving, Mama. Maybe not so well done, Mama. Why does it look like mustard? Maybe we needed to add a little bit more flour to the batter. Great. Not me having to fix mama's recipe. Mama's definitely not saying even better than mama at the end of this one. So flour and some cornmeal. That will hopefully do something. So we're gonna mix this. You know what? It is thicker. That's for sure. Not me fighting for my life over here. If I get food poisoning, can I just sue Nintendo? Let's try this again. Oh, that's a lot better even though I don't have quite enough batter. Okay, I feel like that's a lot more like a corn dog. I don't know if you guys can see. Now it looks like a corn dog. We just have to keep spinning it. Oh my God, I'm gonna be spinning this for the rest of my life. Oh, oh no. Oh. Guys, I bought a damn deep fryer to make sure that this is biblically accurate to cooking mama. Or as they say in Paris, a friadora. Whatever that means. We are going to open our Friadora. It looks exactly like Mama's Friadora. <gasps> it's broken. No. 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 Oh, wait, there's metal everywhere. This is the worst day of my life. Is this safe to use? Can I still use it? Oh, there's glasses. Oh. Uh, my kitchen is covered in glass. What I was trying to say was, if there's ever been a time to give the video a like and subscribe, this is the one. Because who else in your life is putting this much effort into your relationship with them? I think it's only me at this point. Not to drag your personal relationships, but I call it when I see it. I call it as I see it. I call it, I don't know, I called it. We've seen wars on this channel. Honestly, we have. Is this stable? Not in the slightest. Is it still damaged? The evidence. Does the metal slightly feel like aluminum foil? Yes. Are we potentially creating a grease fire? Also yes, but did that ever stop us? No. So, we're still doing it. <laughs> this actually looks really similar to Mama's deep fryer and honestly, I don't have the time to go and exchange it. I'm just gonna keep it. when I drink too much water before bed. One thing I hate about deep fryers, it's never enough oil. It's not even close. Thing is, this is not my first rodeo, so. I'm always prepared. So I'm going to start by heating up the oil. Let's do maybe 350. Grease fire, here we come. Honestly, I'm not even joking. I'm scared. Mama, we need a gameplay for health and safety in this kitchen. I think this is ready. Okay, so we're gonna do the gameplay. The main difference is that I'm gonna make one hot dog at a time because this batter, it's not battering. Mama is making three, I'm making one. Let's do it. Okay, oof, the basket. Oh my God, Mama's already, okay. Is it gonna work? It is frying. Not me trying to show you. Um. Okay, maybe we should put the lid. Cause mama is done. And this, mine is not even close to being done. Let's see where this is going. She said, there's no salmonella where I live. She said salmonella is for the weak. The thing is my corn dog looks like it's melting into the frying basket. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Should we do a quick wellness check on the corn dog? Let's see how it's doing. Let's check the vitals. Wiener reveal. 
Okay. Wait, cause that kind of looks like mama's wands. Excuse me, but what did we actually do? That, I mean, it's a little bit melting the bottom, but you will not see it. Once this is, this is perfect. It's the perfect color. It looks like mama's wand. I'm looking at mama's wand. I'm going to show you in the next step. This is mama's corn dog. This is mama's wiener. You know what? I'm going to stop because it's not funny anymore, but it was for a second. Oh wait, what if we, oh, oh. No. Why do I look like Harry Potter cooking? You know what? We'll make it work. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Nothing to see. So you're gonna work one way or another. And I'm done. Next. This might be my second little moment of the day, but I think these actually came out pretty good. They look very similar to Mama's, period. You know what? It is what it is. And I'm sure it will taste. Actually, wait, let me, I take that back. It is what it is. For the next gameplay, I think Mama is decorating the hot dogs. I think she uses mustard and ketchup. Mustard is squirty by nature, so we'll be able to decorate it because it usually comes out quite thin. Ketchup usually comes with all that weird water. And then this hole is bigger than the ozone, the ozone layer hole, the ozone layer. I'm going to put the ketchup inside a squirty bottle because I know this will be necessary. So that's what we're going to be doing. I believe we have two more steps on this recipe. I just want to eat a corn dog at this point. I'm like, can we skip to the eating mama? You know what? They might not look exactly the same as mama, but you guys would have to be lying if you say they don't look good. They look pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to press play. Let's do it. This is called put sauce on it. First of all, we're going to start with ketchup. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, thank god I messed up. <gasps> oh no! Ugh. Should have thought about this. <sighs> oh, mommy's done. Wait. Not even better than mama. This is much worse than mama. It looks okay. It's not giving what mama is giving, but does it ever? No. And there we go. This is the final result. I'm looking at the final presentation from Mama and I'm looking at mine and it's like the mustard. Oh, I went to, I love mustard. I will say that. And also this one from this angle, it looks incredible. If you see it from where I'm seeing it, jump scare, jump scare. And this will be the final touch to our corn dogs. Perfect. I wouldn't go as far as saying better than mama, but it's it's certainly, I was gonna say as good as mama, but no, it's not. So there you go, this is the cooking mama corn dogs. And I'm gonna do what you're, what you're waiting. I am going to grab the corn dog and I'm gonna throw it in the trash. <laughs> I'm joking. And I'm going to dip it. And those of you are probably thinking, why would you dip the mustard one in ketchup? Because it's already got mustard in it. Why would I dip it in more mustard? I'm proud that something came out of it, you know? Considering there's no recipes for these things. Okay, let me show you a better one. Spoiler alert, there's no better one. <laughs> Let's try it. Is it cooked? It is cooked. It tastes like a corn dog, an average corn dog, but a corn dog nevertheless. Would I rank this in the top five corn dogs I've ever eaten? Absolutely not. Would I rank this the top 10 corn dogs I've ever eaten? I think it might make it a top 50. I've only eaten 50 corn dogs. <laughs> think about a corn dog, it, it's corny. It's dogging. It, ooh. Not that. <laughs> it's corn. Oh, I, not that either. Um, I'm just happy it's cooked at this point. Let's move on to the next one. This is the Cooking Mama recipe for no one, no two, three different types of popcorn with soy sauce in it somehow, I don't know. So this first step to make the popcorn is called grate it and it starts with grating some cheddar cheese. I don't know how cheddar cheese is gonna go into the popcorn, but we'll find out. I'm just gonna press play and we're gonna do it. I'm trying to do as many. Oh, it's going faster now. Why I feel like my cheese is not grating? 
Wait! <laughs> no! Like... No, you don't understand, this is... Look at the cheese on the... On the game! What is up with this? <laughs> Those are not the same amount! And I'm controlling myself not to eat it. Like... Stop. I'm just gonna grate a little bit more so that it at least looks like the amount in the video game. Otherwise... It's not gonna work out probably in the end. I think we're actually making four different types of popcorn, in including the salt one. This is the soy sauce for the soy flavor. So this step is called measure it. Okay, this is on zero. Wait, I think we start with water. I should put this in order. I think it's water. Okay. 100 grams of water. That's good. And then the butter, 100 grams. I'm not gonna have space, that's good. Okay, we're killing it. Uh, granulated sugar, 50 grams. Okay. Oh, I'm quicker than the game! <laughs> this feels amazing when that happens. 15 grams of soy sauce. Oh, it doesn't come off fast enough, okay. And then, last but not least, we've got 15 grams of salt. And that's it. We've done it! <laughs> this makes me so happy when I'm faster than Mama. So this is gonna be the coating for the popcorn, which honestly, if you've never had soy sauce popcorn, it's delicious. So I am looking forward to this. I'm just going to mix it because I don't think we're doing anything else to this. So maybe the butter will cool down a little bit. It'll become a little bit thicker. Either way, this probably tastes Yep, that is, wow, that is delicious. <laughs> maybe mom is up to something. Or maybe I'm up to something. No, I definitely am. So I think this next step is called shut the corn. So they use real corn on the cob kind of thing. They use this uh, to make popcorn. Is that possible? I don't think this is possible. I will say that mom is bringing a whole lot of experience. Oh, why is he hairy? <gasps> This is kind of beautiful, like, if I get married, I'm just gonna walk down the aisle with one of these. A corn on the cob bouquet, and a stick of butter in my pocket. Okay, so, completely new experiences today. So this is corn. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use my hands for this, so I'm gonna press play and we're gonna see how Mama does it in the video. But I think I'm gonna have to use a knife, because this is real life. And I can't use my finger to make the corn pop. Okay, so let's press play. It's called Shuck It. It's also how I feel right now. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh this is... I can't do this. This... Oh. That was one of the biggest failures of my whole life in general, actually. I would go as far as saying. I thought this would be like soft for some reason. The only time I've ever seen this has been a KFC when it's cooked. I thought it was gonna come off super easy, but it really doesn't. So in order to do what they've done in the video, you first of all, you, you definitely need a knife. Second of all, you need skill. Screw that. So this is the only way to do it. Okay, so we kind of get the same effect as in the video, just with a little bit more time. This is so weird, what does it taste like? Should I try one? That tastes pretty damn delicious. I would eat it the way it is. In fact, I don't know why people boil this. There's corn everywhere in my house. Okay, so this is the step in which we make the actual popcorn. Anyways, I'm gonna just do the gameplay. Okay, butter. This was all too quick, and this. And now, okay, this is not gonna, I, I can shake it all I want, but this is, it's, it doesn't work in the game timing. Cause obviously we need to wait for the butter to get hot so that it pops the corn. Uh, 
mom is ready. Like she's she's finished. She's done with the popcorn, and I'm here, waiting for my butter to melt. I have a glass lid, just like Mama, so we can we can sit here and wait. You know what? I'll put the lid when the first one pops. Mama was shaking it. Do you know what? This is actually a great pan to shake. Oh, so it doesn't burn. Oh, she really is a chef. Not me getting brave. <gasps> oh, no, never mind. Okay, I don't want to be dramatic, but you either pop or we're eating it as it is. Isn't this a dish in Texas? Cooking mama perpetuating unrealistic timing expectations for your cooking once again. The Kim Kardashian of making popcorn. Honestly though, I'm kind of over it. Is any of you going to pop? I'm gonna put the lid, maybe that will speed up the process. I knew it was gonna get foggy. What's the point of paying for the, the roof terrace? Wait a minute, something's happening. Oh, corn! All I wanted was a shot of this. Oh! It does smell like burning a little bit. Okay, I think it's safe to open. Um, it is ready. Guys, I'm running out of utensils, so don't judge me. Oh! Okay, um, yeah, that was... I believe this next part is to make the caramel for the caramel popcorn. This, honestly, mama, this is all over the place. Like, we're skipping steps. I don't understand what we're doing. I'm just gonna do it. It's called boil it. Okay, so... Okay, let's do this. Oh, water? Right? Boil it? Yeah. You know what? So far, so good. Oh. Uh, granulated sugar. Okay. Now, I think we're going to increase the temperature. Yep, let's put this as high as possible. That's it. Ooh, the other way around. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the pen and the gameplay at the same time. And then hot water. That is random. Ooh, this is very hot. And then mix. And... Put the temperature down. This is not even beginning to look like caramel. Okay. And then the butter goes in. Guys, this is the world's weakest. Um, can we still mix? There's nothing to mix. It's just water. This is the world's weakest caramel sauce. Caramel sauce on a diet. Like, literally. Mama, I don't think this is a three-star dish. Despite of what you're saying. Thank you for building my confidence, but it's a water pancake with decoration. You guys served that breakfast special, that H2O with a stick of butter. Is this going to become caramel eventually? Maybe. I'm gonna carry on cooking it because essentially this is the recipe. <sighs> I will show you if this eventually becomes a caramel sauce. Just a single lonely sad piece of butter floating in an ocean of sweet water. Ain't that all of us? Ain't that all of us? Okay, wait. Because something is happening. It's starting to look like what Mama was doing, right? This is one of the stages, except she got there in three seconds and it's taking me like three minutes. But I think we're getting there. I think this might work. Like it's becoming caramel, just a very runny one. The forbidden bath. Okay, kind of looks like Mama's one, except at this point she added the butter. I'm not that confident to add butter to this. Okay, I feel like I need to add the butter now. I'm just gonna add it and run away. I'm gonna add the butter and run away. <gasps> oh, nothing happened. It kinda smells delicious. I think we officially made caramel according to Mama. Wait, this looks exactly the same. Wow, this is gonna be sticky. This is gonna be incredible on popcorn. I will officially extend my apology to Mama because the recipe just needed some love and some time, but look at this. We made caramel with those ingredients in that random ratio. So for the caramel popcorn, this will be it. This is very satisfying. I could do this all day. So the caramel will complete our trio of... Oh, this is getting thicker and thicker by the second look. 
Why is he so thick? I'm gonna have to microwave this before we put on the popcorn for the next step. Oh, it is so satisfying though, look at this. Isn't that how glass is made? Isn't that how they make windows? Who would have thought I could make caramel from water and sugar? Not me, not me single-handedly bringing back the slime trends back. So this is going to be uh, the different sauces for the popcorn, including salt. Salt is one of them as well. One of them will be salt. So it's technically four. So this is the next step. This is the last step, which is basically shaking the bags with each different sauce. So we've got salt, the soy sauce with butter, which looks interesting, the cheddar cheese and the caramel, which we have to move quick because this is going to get solid very quickly. I'm just gonna press play and we're gonna do it best that we can. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bag already because I know we're gonna shake this. Okay, salt. We shake. Oh, let me close it. Okay, next, soy sauce. Oh my god, this is so weird, how am I gonna pour it? Oh! Okay, cheddar cheese. Next, caramel. Okay, this one is dangerous. I'm gonna burn myself. Caramel goes in, and then... There's cheddar in the caramel. Oh, it's melting. It's, oh no, there's a hole in the bag. Oh. Oh. Oh no. It's not looking good, mama. Let's say that we had different experiences for the popcorn. Not practical, mama, not practical. And this one, it's a bag with cheese in it. This one, it's wet. Soggy popcorn. This one's great. <laughs> it's salted popcorn. We're still going to serve this the best that we can. I honestly don't know which one's which. I think this one is salt. So this one goes on here. You know what? It looks similar to in the image, kind of. If we do a side by side with the video game, I'm sure it will add up. The world's easiest spot the difference game. Well, the soy sauce one really didn't blend and it's wet. Oh, do you see the liquid? Why is it wet? Maybe we can add a little bit more of the sauce so that it looks the same color. I don't know what this is going to taste like. I'm sure it's lovely. I mean, it is butter. The colors look kind of similar. This caramel is so dangerous, but it will look so good. So I'm gonna still do it. So this is the caramel one. We actually followed a caramel recipe from Cooking Mama. And honestly, they all look kind of similar to the image. We made four different types of popcorn from Cooking Mama. So let's try it. Honestly, I'm really curious about this one here. Oh, this is dripping soy sauce everywhere and butter. So this, uh, this is dripping butter. You might think this is a lot of popcorn for one person and you know what? It might be. It's not meant to be this soggy. Mama, we gotta tweak this recipe, however. That flavor. It's so delicious. Honestly, if you've never tried butter soy sauce popcorn, please do, not this recipe. I mean, this doesn't even work. Caramel popcorn. I cannot believe I made caramel. Okay, this becomes like hard, so you see they all come out in one go with all these like caramel strings. Oh, it's hot. It just sizzles inside my mouth. Battery low. Not with this amount of sugar. My battery is about to skyrocket. My battery is like plain. Another... I'm tired of myself and my jokes. What about the salted popcorn? Somehow... I took it for granted. There's a puddle of soy sauce and butter in my kitchen. I don't know if you can see. You know what? You don't want to see it. Why is the cheddar leaking? Walmart, you got some explaining to do. Honestly, I kind of like the, ch I kind of like the cheddar one. It's just cheese on popcorn. I never thought about that. It's good. That concludes the Cookie Mama recipes. And also, I would show you how many dishes I have to do after this. But I want you to be in a good mood. I want you to be happy. I want you to not even think about it. This is my, it's my responsibility. I will do it. Cue the violins, sad music, sponsor this dolphin for $5 a month kind of music. If you ever felt sorry for me, all the dishes, 
that I have to do, all the delicious snacks that I'm gonna have to eat. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Switch the notifications on only if you enjoyed this video, obviously. If you didn't enjoy it, that's fine. And if you want more Cooking Mama recipes, I made a lot of these Cooking Mama recipes a few years ago, maybe like three years ago. And I just realized that Cooking Mama is on my phone now, it's like on the app store. So I was like, I didn't know this existed. So now I know this exists. So there's a lot of recipes on there that I wanna try. So let me know in the comment section, what Cooking Mama recipes do you guys wanna see? And if you want me to recreate other foods from video games, let me know what video games in the comment section. I really mean it. I will give you a shout out if you comment down below. I love you guys. I'm gonna clean up and go to bed and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.